Hello and welcome to Study IQ. Today we are going to talk about a news from Tamil Nadu. You can see the news here. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin goes green. He has recently launched Mean the Manjapai scheme or Mean the Manjapai campaign. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about what is this Mean the Manjapai scheme or the campaign. We are going to get all the details about that, the deadlines also, and at the end of the discussion, we'll talk about the challenges that are going to be ahead in terms of this campaign. What needs to be done? Some suggestions would be given in this particular lecture, which will be very useful for you from the exam point of view. If you are preparing for UPSC civil services or state PSC like TN. PSC, it is imperative for you to know these topics. Topics related to environment, topics related to pollution. Here we are going to talk about plastics, single-use plastic. The campaign is connected to single-use plastics. So let's get all the details about that. To know all these things, be with me on Study IQ. I am your friend Rahul Sai Gaonkar. You can follow me on this particular ID at the rate Rahul Sai two two two. And if you are preparing for state PSC, here is a list of all state PSC programs that we run. We also have a Tamil Nadu PSC program. Just visit studyiq.com or download our app from Google Play Store to know more about us and to avail our services. You will get all the features, all the details on the app also. Right. Let's begin the discussion. As I told you recently, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin has launched Mean the Manjapai campaign. Why this campaign has been launched to create awareness about the use of cloth bags instead of single-use plastic bags. So, under this particular campaign, the first thing that you need to understand what is the objective is to eliminate or to reduce the use of single-use plastics and to promote the use of cloth bags. Now, these are the kind of cloth bags which were distributed during this campaign. Now, what is the meaning of this term? Mean them manjapai. Mean them literally means again. Now, manjapai is a traditional name of this yellow-colored bag. Manjal is a term for turmeric. Manjal it represents turmeric or yellow color. So, before the advent of plastics in Tamil Nadu, everybody used to carry cloth bags. Which were yellow in color. Basically, whenever they went for shopping, shopping groceries or, or any other thing, they used to carry these yellow bags. They were named Manjapai. So the campaign literally translates to again Manjapai. That means let's go back to the roots and let's go back to use of cloth bags instead of single-use plastics. That's the campaign all about. So let's first know about what is the single-use plastic. You guessed it right by the name itself, single use. That means plastic which has been produced or designed in such a way that you use it once and then you throw it away. What the, what does that become? That becomes waste. So in India, waste management is also a problem. So single use plastics are these. You can see in the pictures straws like these. Use use and throw glasses or plastic bottles or forks or cutleries like this. All these things they constitute single use plastic. In fact, India's Waste Management Amendment Rules 2021 they define single-use plastic as a plastic commodity which has been intended to be used only once. And we all know the principle of environmental protection. We talk about the three R's. The first thing is that you refuse, you reduce, and you recycle. So, if possible, just refuse single-use plastic, and then you try to reduce the use. If it's not possible, then Look for recycling products. Now, these products they cannot be used again. Although plastic can be recycled, but again, we need to focus more and more on the products that can be recycled. So, thick plastic materials which can be reused. For instance, say the other bottles. Say example of the shampoo bottle or uh, any other bottle in which your medicine comes. Such things can be reused again by cleaning or recycled. But the problem is with these, and we all know that the plastic doesn't decompose for long. And I don't need to tell you why this campaign makes sense. Let me just show you a picture. You'll understand why the plastic ban is needed. Why single-use plastic ban is needed. These pictures are worth a thousand words. In fact, I'm quite sure this is the situation all over the world, not just in India. Everywhere you'll find plastic waste dumped everywhere. Just just go into your colony, just go into your street, and you'll see the waste which is there. You'll see majority of it is plastic itself. And try to observe whether it is single-use plastic or multiple-use plastic. You'll realize that single-use plastic is too much. It is there everywhere. It is there in our oceans also. If you look at the dump in the oceans, thousands of tons of single-use plastic is already there in our oceans. Many organizations are already running campaigns to eliminate this, and now Tamil Nadu has also started Mean Dam Manjapai campaign, which is a very useful campaign. In fact, if you look at the strategy of this Mean Dam Manjapai, yes, it is 
awareness based campaign and tamil nadu government committee has identified how they are going to eliminate they are going to first persuade the people it will be a three stage ban or a three stage campaign in the first phase items would be try to phase out phase out means slowly and steadily try to reduce the use of plastic sticks which are used in balloons flags candies ice cream earbuds thermocol products all these would be phased out after that there are some targets where things would be banned altogether single use plastics will be banned from 1st july 2022 like the single use plates cups glasses cutleries wrapping paper cigarette packets stirrers plastic banners all these things which are less than 100 micron in thickness they would be completely banned in tamil nadu in fact already in tamil nadu more than 130 products have been banned in many of the power plants plastic use has been reduced completely apart from that in phase 3 we will see that prohibition would be imposed on non woven plastic bags below 240 microns in thickness you can see here that we are looking for more and more thicker plastics where it can be reused it can be recycled very easily it can be collected it can be recycled very easily and from september 2022 these non woven plastic bags which are below 240 microns thickness they would be completely banned in tamil nadu so that is the approach under the meendam manjap bai campaign let us hope that it will be very very successful but it is not just the state of tamil nadu but center is also looking to ban these we all know that center has notified a single use plastic ban on august 14 itself this was released and a permanent thickness of plastic bag which is currently 50 micron will be increased to 75 and subsequently to 120 microns which clearly shows that we are looking for multiple use plastics and we need to understand this see plastics have become a reality of our life the only thing that we can do is reduce the use and recycle it right first try to refuse it eliminate it as much as possible then try to reduce the use and recycle the plastic that is why more and more thickness uh, plastic would be used which can be collected and recycled very easily so center has also banned the single use plastics uh, from 31st december 2022 right right let's talk about the challenges that are going to be ahead in front of us is it really easy see we all know plastic is a problem not just india but many countries are grappling with this why plastic is very cheap plastic is lightweight and plastic is very easy to produce and because of these things there has been a boom in last century or so not just in india but everywhere and today countries are grappling with this that how they are going to manage the amount of plastic waste that has been generated and i showed you the pictures and that plastic waste it does not decompose it will be there for years together animals when they eat it again they they get problems through that there will be problems of clogging there will be problems of burning it if you burn it then again it leads to more and more air pollution so it's catastrophic how are you going to manage this particular waste all the countries are grappling and india is no exception if you talk about india india's plastic waste generation has more than doubled in last 5 years according to center in year 2019 20 the plastic waste generated was about 34 lakh tons i'm repeating 34 lakh tons of plastic in 2019 2020 just realize the number this is the amount of plastic that we are using and that is why i told you eliminating it in one shot is almost next to impossible so it's better to reduce it and go for some sort of recycling and mean the manjap bai exactly does that apart from that there are some other challenges as i told you it's cheap it's easy to produce so what we need is we need policies where we try to find out alternatives to plastic and since plastic elimination use 100% cannot be eliminated so we need better waste segregation that means at the home level eliminate the dry waste and the wet waste in the dry waste try to also segregate the plastic waste apart from that as i told you we need plastic alternatives and for that the government has to invest more and more in research and development for alternative products what we need is we need cheaper alternatives apart from alternatives we need behavioral change see let me give an example of behavioral change from today itself start a policy in your life that whenever you go out to buy something go out to buy groceries go out to buy any stuff just carry a cloth bag with you i always follow that principle since i'm preaching it i also practice it today morning itself i just remember an incident today morning i went out to buy milk and i forgot the cloth bag and uh, the vendor when i bought the 1 liter milk the vendor was putting it in a plastic bag and i told please do not put it it's very cold i just carried the cold milk 
packet back home so uh, so that i remember next time to carry that cloth back so please try to bring that behavioral change in yourself so that you contribute your bit to eliminate these plastics and i told you that we need alternatives why do we need alternatives let's try to understand that see when this mean the manjabai campaign has been announced there has been a lot of enthusiasm especially among the traders trader bodies they do think that in the next coming few months there would be a demand for cloth bags which will go up in tamil nadu but if we look at the cost of these cloths back a normal manjapa itself costs about 15 the yellow bag that is at 15 rupees per bag even a grey cloth bag it costs about 10 rupees and jute bag it starts at 40 rupees and if you talk about the plastics a whole packet of plastics comes in 40 rupees just imagine that right and one jute bag comes at 40 rupees so what we need is we need alternatives to plastic which are cheap which become a very good alternative for people so that they spend less along with it we do need a behavioral change among all of us so try to do your bit to reduce this pollution from today itself with that note let me end my discussion thank you for watching this video jai hind